Oh no! Look at that! Hey everybody, how's it going today? Random Andrew here. Welcome to the channel, the Random Andrew channel daily random vlog. That's a lot to say for one quick little intro. Today, today I will be joining Hef and a bunch of other guys with scale trucks. I'm going to be the oddball out because I don't have a scale truck yet. I do want one. I do want one. I want, actually I'm thinking something like uh, Toyota Hilux. The older Toyota Hilux, kind of like the Toyota they couldn't kill on Top Gear. Yeah, that'll be nice. It'll be nice. I don't want anything big and luxurious, but they're expensive kits. So it's going to be a while before I can get something like that. But in the meantime, today, we're going to go out, do some work on the track. I'm just going to go out and have fun with Clifford. I'll try and contribute if there's any work I can do. But yeah, I'm just going to join along and check out the scale truck action. Try and record a little bit for you guys. Mostly outdoors today will be on the action cam or the Activion or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it should be an interesting day. So let's get on out to the bush. I'll we'll wait for half of them to show up. I think everybody's just doing like the battery charge up thing right now. But yeah, shortly we'll be out there. Might as well take a quick second to show you just how clean everything is on Clifford. The reason I'm starting with down here is because there's been an addition. It's nothing nothing permanent yet this can still be taken off cleaned up and never know it was there but tell me what you guys think about that dun, 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 dun. yeah that's like imagine if that was actually functional serious upgrade but it's just visual just for looks i kind of like it myself especially when the lights are going because they shine right on the back of the blower and it looks really cool at night time. Yeah, Clifford with a blower. Or, do you think it would look more appropriate on that body right there? Sorry for the shakiness again. On the hood of that body. And then that body, when it would go on Clifford's chassis, would be lowered down. And then would it be Megas? No, because Megas has become a speed machine. That would just be a Megas-like body now. But it's still a pretty cool on there. I'd have to mount a fan inside that body too before I'll run it on Clifford. But then it truly looks like a monster truck. Now, yeah, it's, it's quite the addition. You notice no bumpers. Those bumpers did not survive very long. They were catching on things anyways. And, you know, I'm running a cage, an exo cage. So do I really need bumpers? Yeah, I will eventually. Maybe some stainless bumpers or something. Who knows? We'll see when the time comes. But for cleanliness, check that all out. That is clean. Thank you, Brother Craig. There's a couple spots that we missed. But he did the most of the work. Almost looks like a brand new truck, doesn't it? Craig still has a, a love for detailing vehicles, if you can't tell. And he does a pretty good job. Thanks again, brother.
bottom of the tree is biting his tire so that when he tries to go forward, it's just twisting the truck instead of turning the tire. Is that what Dwayne did? Did he set his up there? No, he just climbed up it. I... Just perfectly yeah, well, he's got that bomber, right? Yeah. The bomber sits lower. The tree climb. Just getting fucking back down is good. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh. Look at that! It ain't laying on his shoes though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well, she's, she's going across with her like that. Cock eye. Right now. Like the loose stick in place, just to throw people off. Yeah, we gotta trim that one or move it. There you go. <laughs> A sure sign of success. Crazy for the camera. And back she goes. Just a matter of finding that little bit of grip. Oh no! Uh, okay, well we'll check back in with Dale in a little bit. Oh no! This camera is just bad luck. It's really, really dry here today, folks, so uh, tires are just having problems with biting in. It's a challenge. Mm. You watch the second. Oh, oh no! Hey, at least you landed her. <laughs> All right, let me tip tail back over. It works so much better on the wheels, buddy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And then it creates that little ledge the tire just doesn't want to do. But you did it. Every time I point the camera at Dale, he tips. Gravity is just not your friend today, man. Getting a bit later in the evening, so the lights come on. So they weren't automatic, okay? You just get a little solar sensor cell. Look at those tail lights. Looks pretty good, eh? But so far so good. Nobody's broken anything major. See Dale down in the ditch. I hear you had a wipeout. <laughs> little Tonka, go Tonka, go! Oh, it sounds like you got a bit of crank walk going on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm up, I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that frog's still chilling right there. Okay. Hey, buddy. Got a frog chilling right there. Oh. He's been here there since we got here.
That is a seriously bright light. That might be brighter than my one many RCs for a light. That's an RC four-wheel drive light bar on one of Jess's new scale crawlers. But don't worry folks, we'll be doing we'll do a video on his new trucks. He did get rid of the X01, but he, he apparently got his own star in the trade. <laughs> like seriously. It lights well you can't see it on the phone, but it does it's lighting everything up. Front wheel drive, and we're doing not just a field fix, but a nighttime field fix. <laughs> and I kid you not, the only reason you guys are even seeing this is because of uh, Jess's light bar. Just kind of example. I'll look the camera up, and show the vlog how dark it actually is here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so dark you can't even see Dale. It's <laughs> not what it is. It's not working. It's gotta go down more. Ah, Jesus. Ah, I think we should just walk it out. Looks like you flexed that shaft too. You can see the splines got a bit of a twist in them. It's probably just one of those things that you, you gotta be sitting down at a desk or a table. I think so. Yeah, that's not going on. Well, we're we're pretty close to the car too, so. And you're not the only one carrying out. Yeah. That's right. Poor oh, Clifford. Oh, Poor Clifford's batteries died. Yeah, here's your set screw, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Do you got more work. at home, or? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we tried. Oh well. Onward to the cars. I mean, I could still drive it out. It yeah, would just, just be... pull the drive shaft. Rear wheel drive. Back home now. As you can see, Clifford didn't really get too dirty. So that's that's a big plus about going out to the trail rather than going out to a sand lot or something. Had good times, good times. But you know, Clifford driving this truck out through the bush, guys, Clifford just makes everything seem way too easy. There isn't much that stops this truck. There, there is some things that stop this truck, like uh, running out of batteries like it did tonight and I had to carry it out. But I'm thinking of something a little bit different. Like scale trucks. Those, it seems like there's more of a realistic challenge getting through just even the trail portions. And then it just seems like there's more of a challenge in general. And they're nice little trucks too. I had a look at uh, Greg's trucks and... Uh, Hef's, his new stuff, don't worry, we'll be covering that soon enough, we'll do like a walkthrough, a presentation, if you will, of only the top gear caliber. Well, it'll be our caliber, but anyways. So yeah, I'm putting thought to that, something like a Trail Finder, or like the uh, Nissan Pathfinder, or... I'm not exactly sure, maybe the late 80s style. T to be honest, a truck I would like to try and replicate if I could get my hands on it, and I mean, this is not going to be an easy thing. I've looked them up, and the closest to the truck that they tried to kill, to kill a pickup, I think it was to, to kill a Toyota pickup on the Top Gear series, if you type that in on YouTube, to kill a Toyota pickup, it'll come up with the listings for the episode, and they put them, those things through hell and back. So that's kind of the truck I would like to emulate in honor of that truck. Now, I can't just run out and order a kit. I looked them up. For some of those really, really nice ones, like an RC four-wheel drive kit, and that's a production company, RC four-wheel drive, you're looking at close to $500 Canadian, if not more by the time it's shipped to your door. So in time, I'm sure if somebody wants to help me out, I'll get the opportunity or I'll find that opportunity. But right now, I have to stick within my budget. And I do have some nice projects on the go already, but being that Project Red is on its way out the door, it makes room for one new truck on the shelf, a truck, a car, something. And don't forget, we also have Little Leroy to start soon too. It's just a matter of getting a hold of the parts, the resources. That's why 
I ask, you know, if you've got parts that you think could help laying around, let me know about it. Get a hold of me, contact me through one of the things down below, like Facebook, Instagram. There's all links in the description below, so please. But as for me tonight, I'm going to sit down, edit a video, and I'm going to try to get to bed at a decent time. But now that I've said that, it's I'm doomed to be up late. <laughs> no big deal. I enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your guys' support. You guys rock. Without you guys, there is no YouTube, period. It's the viewers that make everything work. Seriously. You subscribers are awesome. Think positive. Stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Log over.